Welcome to Nzibla where we're on the hunt for elephants today. It's Thursday morning. It's Bagima, our driver. Good morning, how are you? And I'll show you around. This is a community meeting that's happening in the village organized by FFI. Happening under the mango tree. And we're going to jump on a taxi bike. Bonjour les gars. So this is Yapolo, our guide for the day. He's a trekker. And we're looking for the two brother elephants. Stopping for fuel. Okay, all fueled up. Back on the bike. Bonjour, vous allez bien? Il était où l'éléphant? Tu l'as vu? Montre-moi. Tu l'as vu par ici? C'est deux, deux grands? T'as eu peur? Oui. Un peu? Il était comment? Il était comme ça? Plus haut? Il était encore plus haut que ça? Y'a Paulo. Y'a Paulo qui est ici. Alexi. Et Pivi. Qui est le chef de la garde station ici. C'est là où nous commençons notre trek. if you can make that out but that's the footprint of the bigger of the two brothers that we're looking for they're two orphaned brothers in this case their mother was killed by poachers and they're not sure why their behavior has changed so that they're moving closer to the villages elephants eating banana trees they cause a lot of destruction <laughs> And these are the manioc plants that they destroyed as well. There you go. Elephant poo. Ooh, there's a beetle that likes it. So even the plants they don't usually eat, they just destroy. Apparently the younger one just has fun messing about in the fields. And you can see why the villagers don't like them. They just see them as pests. Ça c'est les traces des éléphants de hier, tu penses? Oui, oui hier. C'est ce qu'on appelle le badigeonnement. Quand il a chaud, la chaleur le fatigue les moucherons. Il vient, il met la bouche au lit. Elephant spa treatment. Ça c'est le petit qui a passé ici. C'est le plus gros qui a passé là-bas. Hey, you can really see their footprints now. Wow. That's some big feet. <laughs> tu penses qu'il a quelle uh, hauteur? A peu près 2 mètres 50. 2 mètres 50. Le plus gros. 2 mètres 50 in height. The uh, older brother. Give you an idea if I put my hand next to it. And I've got big hands. That's the footprint of the older brother. So now we're entering the forest. They're going to be looking for traces of the elephant's mud bath on the leaves of the trees and the plants. No shortage of traces here. C'est quoi? C'est la boue? C'est la boue. Wow! I would never even have spotted that. That's the dried mud on the branch from the elephant that went underneath. Il a pas ici en bas, quoi. As you can imagine, the elephants like mangoes. Not many left on this tree. Just a few on the ground that he didn't bother to eat. It's fascinating how they pick up these trail signals. The brush is getting thicker. Left his flip-flop. God, he must have been terrified. 
Looks like the family were here. Little kids left a shoe. They've just run from their family picnic at the sight of an elephant. Alexa is picking up tracks and mud traces. And that's the big guy. Oh, I think we have a problem. This is the River Gianni. And it looks like the two brothers have made their getaway across it. Damn. Quand il tape ici, deux coups de froid pour il a déjà traversé. Ça c'était dans les bandes de 19h20. That's where they went. Around seven or eight o'clock last night. They can even track them to about that accuracy of time and then after that who knows because apparently they walk at 50 kilometers an hour that's not running that's elephant walk you can tell why the villagers are terrified from 6 in the morning till 10 11 in the morning they look for food in the sunny hot afternoons they look for a shade and at night they start their walk and that's where they decided to go I guess we're all a bit disappointed the guys I think probably more disappointed than I am because they were convinced we'd see one of them today but at least I've learned something about elephant tracking that's it we're out of the forest cover and it's incredibly noticeable the temperature change as soon as you hit the open path temperature rises by about five degrees at least so what do you got? un peu on est un peu dessus two essential weapons in the bush Machete and mobile. Comment vous appelez ça? Ça? Oui. Euh, tu appelles ça euh, dans, dans Maniké? Euh, Dentama. Dentama. Uh -huh. Dans la langue Malinke. Oui. Malinke. Mm -hmm. les, enfants... les enfants de marche vite. Marche vite. L'autre là. Ça là. Les dents. C'est pour les dents. So those are little necklaces. One is for kids to encourage their teeth to grow another is to encourage them to start walking monsieur c'est fait avec quoi il faut moi de cœur en tous a yirini a yirini a teya mais c'est griffan ni aye et c'est pour l'estomac ah pour l'estomac voilà so this gentleman is a natural faith healer and that yellow juice is a plant extract that he makes in the forest and he sells on the side of the road as he as he makes his way for la médecine traditionnelle so the traditional dock has disappeared up that hill way ahead of us he obviously knows a thing or two about how to stay well and fit. Vanished up the red path ahead of us. Wow. Wow. No wonder they think it's good for the stomach. Man. 
Voilà. Et ça, c'est bon. Hein? Mmm, my stomach's feeling better already. So we've left in Zibola. We're back on the bike because there's been a sighting in the next village. So we're still hot on the trail. Seems like the whole village has turned out to say hello. It's causing a stir. Ça va? T'as vu l'éléphant? Something tells me there's an elephant down here. Il est par où l'éléphant Il est par là Bonjour. Il est tout près. D'accord. Qui c'est qui l'a vu Toi Tu l'as vu We've got the entire village in tow, looking for the elephant who's over there somewhere. Well, the two elephants, the two brothers, who've been helping themselves to these fields this morning. But we're hoping they haven't gone for their afternoon nap because that'll be that for the day if they have so we think the elephant is over there behind that row of brush and there's a stream further down here where he's likely to make his way for somewhere cool to have his afternoon nap but the problem is We've got most of the village over there making a great big racket which is probably not helping him to find somewhere peaceful for a snooze. This is the stream where we're hoping they're going to come to bathe a little brook in the middle of the forest with some nice muddy banks for our two friends. This is elephant paradise. Our friends the elephants are behind me here. The village kids have been throwing stones at them understandably to keep them off their crops but uh, so they've backed off over here in the bush behind me which is apparently a sacrificial site for the women of the village I've tried asking what exactly that means there is FGM in these parts That's the reality of life in Guinea, and the men will not go in there. We think he's here, bathing in the stream. We must be about five, six meters away from them. <laughs> Tu connais bien ton métier. There you go. Close up the forest elephant's butt. No idea if he's going to turn around to say hello. He looked pretty relaxed. Oh, I think we're going to get to see his face. He's turning around to say hello. Wow. Incredible creature, just bathing in the spa of this stream in the hot afternoon sun.
So they weigh about four tons. Having a little drink. And a snack. You go to love you, eh? I don't want to too much. I don't want to love you. Tu parles à l'éléphant? Oui, il faut se laver. Tu veux se laver? Oui, il faut se laver. On lui donne la permission? Oui, oui. <rire> In the group, it's, it's exactly what you're not supposed to do. So I'm trying to get out of this spot. Don't you have a gun? Gun! 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 So, we think the elephants are tired and they're going for a rest. But they're also circled by others and they're coming this way. So they're not as tired as we think. But the rangers are trying to encourage them to go have a nap now. The problem is when they're tired, they also get in a bad mood. 
Ogul. 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 Power. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Gaga, I'm going to wear the cover. You said? Who knows? John Bubble. Bubble. Alors, oui. dis-moi, Alexis, qu'est-ce que tu as dit What did you say to the elephants Qu'est-ce que tu as dit aux éléphants Moi, je, je les appelais pour venir voir. Oui. Euh, Moi, les... In your language, dans, dans, dans ta ma, langue. Dans ma langue, oui. je, dans la langue oui. je, je les appelais de venir. Oui. Que les anges ont venu pour te voir, ne sont pas venus pour vous faire du mal. Oui, mais c'était. Tu peux me le dire dans ta langue Oui, oui je peux dire dans ma langue. Oui, oui. vas-y. Bon, d'accord, d'abord, Alexis Dramon. Ah. Pour pas dire loin pour t'accueillir en tant que David. Pour pas. Pour te dire, il n'y a pas David de Tika. So you told him, tu lui as dit. Comment tu dis 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 Comment tu N'importe quelle langue, ta langue. Il comprend ton énergie. Well, we found our elephant brothers deep in the heart of the forest, along with half of the village. They're right behind us. They're definitely not having a kip. They're making their way straight towards us. Not as tired as we thought they were. Ça parle pas le Ça So the elephants are following us into the village because <laughs> they like the sound of human voices and uh, especially kids' voices. So they're coming with us. <laughs> they're not having a little break as they normally would. They want to come out and play with the kids. <laughs> Anything is. They weigh three or four tons.
back in the village. Oui. La Paolo, oui, still behind me. Vivi and Alexi, and all the children of the village with the elephant following up the group. Thank you. 